Hi guys, this is Heidi from Journey Now. Thanks for joining me. Um, I really wasn't planning to do a video today, so I mean, obviously I'm not, <laughs> I don't have all my makeups and stuff on, and um, but you gotta do what you gotta do. They want me to get this out there. It seems important, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, they're wanting me to discuss um, this new paradigm or this new evolutionary shift is what they're calling it, uh, which is really our expansion into 5D Gaia. I'm talking fast because there's a lot coming in. Um, before, before all that starts commencing, I felt that it was appropriate right now for some of our viewers to put out there that um, me and Amber are twins. So I don't know if you guys were aware of that. We've never really brought it up just because we're so used to it. We are actually identical twins. And so we do share strong communication bonds and um, Okay, so now they're letting me talk about me first. So I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of information on um, how I do what I do, what it looks like for me, because it really does look different for everyone. So when I'm doing my channeling and I'm getting my information, I'm really getting it in the way of telepathy and uh, or they call it claircognizance. They're saying same thing really. So claircognizance is a clear knowing. A clear knowing is associated with the telepathic regions of communication in that it really is like an imprint visually. There'll be words, there'll be symbols, there'll be emotion, but it all comes in the same place, like a stamp almost. Like it's a direct line of communication that occurs in here and up in here and it's not like I'm sitting here pulling in word by word it is a direct line of communication telepathically that I share and I have had this capability my entire life and had shut it down as a child and so I am as we're on this journey um, of journey now really coming into cherishing that gift and embracing it and learning what it is and learning how to use it so with that being said they want to talk about the new paradigm and they want me to let you guys know um, because along with my telepathy I do get uh, pr prophetic visions so I'm blessed with insight and visual prophecy of where we're going and I do get to go there often you guys I have been to 5d quite quite a number of times and seen what's going on there I'm privy to some of that stuff and so that is something I can share and and um, so what they're wanting to, to let you guys know is that as we're going into this new paradigm, it doesn't look like sitting around and waiting for, you know, the Pleiadians to step up and pull us all out and all of the extraterrestrials that are involved with this humanitarian rise of into our evolved selves. It doesn't look like us all sitting here and waiting for them to show up and do it. And then we just observe it. That's not what it's looking like at all. They are simply here to help to inspire, uplift, and direct us into doing that for ourselves. And so this is what they want to talk about when they're talking about the new paradigm. They want us to start taking steps into um, the absolvements of structure and the formatting, which is 3D um, society. This is how we have found ourselves where we are now and where we have been and how we have been really manipulated into this box. That's what it is. It's a box where we are denied true perspective of the multi-dimensional layers. So we have no ability to look down and see the bigger picture. We are literally existing in this small box. And so what the new paradigm looks like and what awakening really is, is pulling down those walls and removing ourselves from that box so that we actually are able to see from this higher perspective level. Um, so what they're telling me is that steps need to be taken from they call us the awakened ones or they call us the way showers what we really are um, all of us people on these videos putting these videos out watching these videos working on ourselves to really 
embrace the ascension process and that is our specific jobs right now but we're a group of people who are coming to unite as a team as a army and so they do often refer um when they're talking to me about the new paradigm and Gaia, they refer to me a lot in wording related to um, war and army and warriors and weapons, but they don't usually speak those words out of me when I'm doing these videos because you can see how those very words in themselves tend to ignite fear and terror and chaos just by the speaking of them. Um, so we're not really going to delve into the war aspects of what's taking place here. They simply want us to know that we are a united team or a united army that is basically sitting in a training ground right now. So we are in a training ground so that we can succeed in making this movement larger and we are going to be bringing people around us and involving them and bringing their ascension process into its beginning phases because you guys, there is really so many people that haven't even begun this process. I mean, they have in the way internally where the energy shifts that are occurring are affecting them inside, but on the outside, they have no awareness of what is actually going on within their bodies. They can't relate it to anything. So to them, it just looks like disruptions in their own lives, disruptions in their own um, mental capacities, emotionally, how they're feeling. And they're just associating those things outwardly with the 3D societies of this, this is happening to me, or I feel bad today because of this, but they have no relatable point to put put those into because they're simply unaware of the ascension process that's occurring. And so it really becomes our job to start up lifting people by way of example. And so they don't want us to force our ideas. They don't want us to force the ascension process on anyone. What they really want us to know today is to lead by example, lead by example, because as we're ascending, they want us to know we're being given these tools that will really help us to pull people into that line of perspective and start their own ascension process. And that is the awesomeness really of what we are doing like we are warriors guys I really want you to know that like take your place put your armor on and get ready to battle we are all awesome warriors to even be here and doing this now step up to the plate give yourselves a huge hug and make sure you celebrate that onto yourself because what we're doing here is one of a kind for human race, a one of a kind. They are showing me like Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, they keep saying. That's what we're looking at here, guys. We are creating a huge movement. It is evolutionary in scale. It has never been seen before. It has been attempted and has been failed. We are succeeding this time, and it is because of the way showers, the light workers, the lighthouses that we are as a united team. So they want me to make sure that you guys all know who you are and what importance there is in that role that we are all playing out. So they're saying we are be being given tools right now as we are ascending that is simply being constructed biologically within our DNA. And so even though there's work to do, there's things that are happening inside you that you don't even get involved with. They're happening on their own. So just be certain and aware that you know this is occurring, embrace it, and keep doing your own personal work. But do know that your DNA is aligning within your own missions right now. And I have been given information into, um, it looks like cellular manipulation or cellular expansion of consciousness in that um I start to look really woo-woo when I start to talk about this, so I don't bring it up that often, but we are literally entering into this new paradigm in which we have some sort of control over our physical, our physicalities. And so they're showing me that one of the tools we are being given presently as we are accelerating in our ascension process is literally coming out of our eyes. And, um, 
this is pretty cool. So as we're ascending and we are raising our vibration exponentially, they're saying, make no mistake, when they say the eyes are the window to the soul, you have to understand that your eyes are becoming a weapons because it's going to hit a certain place in your ascension where there's no avoiding it. That light is shining out of your very eyes. And so anybody that you are interacting with when you're stepping outside your door, if they look at you, that coating is coming out. It is like a beam of light that goes directly in, almost in the way that light language works. That's coming out of your eyes. And it is directly bypassing into their own DNA processes. So this is a tool. And it might sound small. It's not small. It is huge. It's like the mother load. Because if you can imagine all of us people running around outside, just literally, it's like we're X-Men or we're these awesome, awesome um, superheroes shooting lasers out of our eyes. Like, it's not going to look like that. We're not going to literally be going out and we're shooting lasers out of our eyes at people. But that's what's happening, guys. So things like that are the weapons that we are really working towards having, capabilities that we are all going to be having not in the future. I mean, literally, that's happening now, people. So work on your ascension process. Really understand that as you ascend, you're being being given these tools. So that's one of the tools. Um, another one of the tools that we're being given, again, is the twin flame. And that's a big video. It's too big right now, again, to address because, I, like I said, I wasn't doing a video today, but I was really being... Um, persuaded. That's a good way to put it. Persuaded. Because they can be annoying sometimes. I'll just say persuaded. I was being persuaded to just do it anyway and talk about this because it's really important today, I guess, that I get this out. And they're saying because we're crossing over into the month of April. So this is like for planning. Be at the forefront. Understand what's going on and start using this information in the right ways. And so when we're talking about the new paradigm, there we're really talking about the dissolvement of structure and the dissolvement of format, which is the 3D society manipulation or dismantling the box. That's the way we can put it. So that's the goal. And so they're really wanting me to say that every one of us right now watching this video, putting these videos, every one of us can start to make steps, small steps, you guys, because we are the example, lead by example, live and breathe what you speak. And so while we might be sitting here saying 5D Gaia is this place that I am going to and I want to be there. And I'm telling you guys, you want to be there because I get to go there. I get to see what's happening. I get to see with my prophetic visions what this looks like for us. And that's why I get really excited sometimes when I talk because I'm like, let's go there now. Let's go there now. And I'm constantly reminded that, no, I have a role to play here and I will get there. But right now I keep having to go back and forth and that's totally fine. That's my mission. I'm just simply telling you guys, it is worth it. It's worth it. That is where we all want to be. So what it really looks like is dismantling this box. And so taking baby steps, and they want me to give an example. And so for me, um, one of the little steps that I have taken is I'm doing a clothing drive. And this is literally not something you need to do. I'm just telling you an example of some little things that everyone can do right now because how do we expect these formats and structures to collapse if we're not going to start making the movement if we're not going to start leading by example we're just going to sit here and stare at these structures forever no make the moves now so one of the ways in which i am being proactive towards this movement is i'm i'm doing a clothing drive because one of the new paradigm um, points is free living. I'm not kidding you guys. We were never supposed to be dealing with money. Free living is our given right. And this is 100% a manipulation structure having to do with government, having to do with all of those 
I want to say nasty. That's just how I view them, nasty enterprises. So if you want to start collapsing these large enterprises like the school systems, like the government, all of those monetary systems, all of those things that are really suppressing us as a race, you need to start somewhere. And so as light workers, if we all start somewhere doing whatever it is we can that reflects the new paradigm, that is how it becomes tangible. That is how it becomes this existing thing that other people can see and follow the example of leading up into the actuality of the new paradigm in which we are all living free the way we were intended to live. So back to my example, for me right now, I have the capabilities of doing a free clothing drive. And I always have to say, although we do appreciate things like the Salvation Army, things like Value Village, things like garage sales, all of those charitable organizations, I'm not saying they're bad, but they are 3D, which means they are still existing within the 3D structure of manipulation, they still reside within that box. Do something that reflects consistently the new paradigm that we are looking to reach to. So I'm doing this clothing drive. I'm going out of my way because I'm offering my free time with nothing in return so that I can give a free service. I'm collecting donated clothing. I'm washing them all. I'm folding them all. And I am going to put together a few places where I can actually give these clothing out free. Absolutely free. Because they say, how can you expect to receive a free society, a free paradigm, if you're not willing to do the same and to give the same? So like attracts like you guys. Do these little things. These little things are going to really open that door into the new paradigm. Whatever way it looks for you, try to give something for free with no expectations of a return do that. Please make that a number one important thing on your list of to-dos. That is going to be the biggest step we can take going into and embracing our ascensions, trying to really breach into that paradigm. So that's one for the monetary system. Um, we literally are going to get to a point once all this is out of the way, like, I just want it all gone now because I want to be there, but there's lots of work to do. But once this is all out of the way, relax, people, rest assured that free living society is tangible for us. It is something that we will have. So another one that they want to talk about, again, is the school system. And it's quite similar in the fact we've got to break out of this box of the school system, which is this is really a sore spot for me. I really get activated when we start talking about the school system. Like I just feel so passionate about it um, because it really is the stepping point into which we lose control as a society and we become molded, we become manipulated. And honestly, the doorway to this manipulation, the doorway to the structure and formatting of our children is literally lying at the doors of the educational system and God bless the teachers because it's like they're not doing this on purpose they're living in 3d too but nobody seems to be looking in and understanding that it is like brainwash boot camp that is where they are getting to the heart of our children and it hurts me because I have children and they're in the school system and so I'm constantly like, how can I get them out of there? How can I get them out of there? And I'm sure you guys are all in the similar situations or you're feeling the same thing. And so this is um, going back to that another video I had done where I spoke about going out into the school systems and so I'm going to re-bring that up and they're saying... Again, small steps lead by example. Small steps lead by example. If there is any contribution that you can give without putting yourself into the hot seat. So they don't want us to all 
abandon ship, throw ourselves into the hot seat, sacrifice ourselves to the greater cause. No, it's about being smart about how you play the game. Because remember again, it is a game. We are all playing this game. So how can you play the game in which you're entering into these systems, the government, the school system, the monetary systems? How can you play these games and tip the scale in your favor? And simply it is by leading by example. What can you offer to these systems to start bringing the walls down and so um, another example here for the school system um, that I'm gonna give and I just have to go to me because I can only tell you what I'm doing for my little steps um, for the school system I will be reaching out um, again go into you we're dealing with your specific gifts your specific capabilities so it doesn't have to be hard I'm an artist I love dealing with paintings um, I'm going to be going into a rural school system and I'm going to be offering up services under the guise of the arts. So and that's what I mean by playing with it. Play with it, make it smooth and then present your package. They just show like going to the schools with your present or your package and brilliant you you thought of all the ways in which you're going to verbalize this again see the see the videos on language and think about that when you're wrapping your gift for presentation. How are you going to use language and words to present this so that you're not triggering, you're not causing disruption, you're simply opening a door in which you can sneak in there and start opening minds. And remember again about the eyes. Everywhere you go, as you're ascending, everyone you look at, that's what we're looking to do is slowly activate all the people around us. Going into the system, going into the school system, I'm going to be offering an art class. Because I'm a rural center, it's a little bit easier to sort of sneak in there. So for all of you living in um, smaller centers, rural type scenarios where we might have an easier time sneaking into the doorways and doing these things, do that. Start there. Start there um, in your communities. Everybody, start in your communities. They're saying communities first and work outwards. It's like a lighting up all these branches on the globe, connecting them like the grid, like the crystal grid. They're saying connecting dots, branching, bringing from out, pulling in, uh, until we cover the globe in a larger, expansive way. So, Take your little gift, work your magic people. That's what they want me to tell you today. And so when I'm going into this school system, and I mean, I haven't done it yet, so I'll keep you up to date. I'm presenting an artistic forum free of charge in which I'm going to go and deal with the children in an art format. However, I will be interweaving some meditational practicing at the beginning of the art class, like there's tons of ways that you can literally shift children's minds because it doesn't take much for a child to remember. They haven't been integrated the way we have. They haven't been existing in the 3D structure for as long. So working with children is a really beneficial thing that we can all do to really light the fire of ascension. Work with the children. It's not going to take them long to get there. You're going to find they're receptive. They're going to understand before you even tell them what the processes are of ascension. It's literally just going to be like, oh, I get that. You won't even have to do it. They'll be doing it on their own. So simply introducing things. Um, I have a friend uh, who actually had introduced me to Tibetan Tibetan um, singing bowls, and her name is Sherry. If she's out there watching, love you, Sherry. She is a beautiful soul, and she herself is a perfect example of a human being who is going out into these systems and trying to bring the walls down of the boxes. She is introducing singing bowls into the educational system. She goes there, she does her little briefing on what they are, and the kids get to play with these bowls. 
That's what I'm talking about. Steps like that, you guys. Anything that you're passionate about that you can give, really start playing into the paradigms that you're looking to become a part of. Play your part so that you can lead by example. So I hope that was helpful. I was really pushed into this video today because they want this to cross over into April. Let me know what you guys think. And even if you are taking these little steps right now, let me know what they are because that's exciting. Let me know what steps you're taking to embrace the new paradigm, to embrace 5D Gaia. Thanks, guys. Love you so much. See you next time. Bye.